Hey guys, welcome back to another AQ3D video. This one is on the Nogath update and I absolutely loved it. If you guys did not see my live stream, which is basically an entire run through of the Nogath part three, the first section of Nogath part three, I'll put a link to that in the top right corner. You can go and check that out if you want to go and see just what we did it was a lot of fun and so anyways in order to begin that jumping over to battle on and you'll be able to start the whole thing just by talking to this player or sorry player <laughs> this individual right here you've got the option of course to begin the nogath part one and two and then to continue nogath part three and this will take you to the very beginning part of it and takes you down to the wasteland. So once you've gotten to a certain section, once you've gotten along a certain ways, you will be getting access to some more stuff. And it's actually really cool. So I haven't even seen the new crafting stuff that we're going to be getting. So I will be checking that out in this one here. This is the new map. I'm going to give you right now spoilers ahead. If you have not played through the new Nogath you might want to before you check this out because there will be spoilers ahead from now on. I love this map. Number one is keep an eye out. You're going to see falling people. People falling. Look at that. These are all people falling down. That's crazy. And this map is really breathtaking. It is absolutely insane. And actually, it is very much what I expected. Oh, I saw a... Look at that. You can see a skull right there. I didn't see that before on the live stream. It's faint, but you can see it. Wow, that is really cool. And so, anyways, yeah, a lot of work went into this map. It, it, it does give me that Oversoul vibe. And there's a lot of places you have access to afterwards. The place we're going to go is to the Bulwark of Gluttony, because this is where we've discovered a craftable thing. Now, upon killing the enemies in this area, you do get drops um well it was just craftables i'll give an example so you get this thing right here gluttonous bones which you can stack up to two thousand of these and then you would be able to use those as, oh plus another thing i love about this is this door right here first of all that's pretty neat up there and you've got the nation logos right here very cool anyways look at the doors oh they just open up when you get close to them like that is so crazy what an awesome door but anyways so it's just it's little small things like that that really add to that flavor so i don't know exactly where the thing was it was either to there there it is right there a little sneaky little bugger right here and in here you've got the fiend mage too and this is the stuff you can craft right here fiendish mage outfit so this is the first thing the fiendish mage staff two you've got the other helm and then the shoulders with the iconic nogath logo you've got the fiendish robes right here fiendish robes two because there was already a variant of this previously and then you've got those and then last but not least those right there so that is what you can get you can craft all of these things right here you just need the gluttonous stuff i'm already at 651 just after playing just through the game i mean just through the story that's what i already at so it shouldn't take too long to get the amount these level 38 if you guys were not aware we got a new level cap along with this update so it now goes up to level 44 so you can be doing some grinding and whatnot to get to that rank and next is oh i got a another daily oh i need to make sure to complete that so that i can get my my xp before the reset today i'm gonna go back to the solace this is the beginning part is there any way to no there's not duh all right fine i guess i'm gonna go back to the wasteland because it's in the wasteland where we will be Talk, is it is it the guys over here i don't know where they oh there they are they're over on this side so you've got this guy right here which is the sun guard 
guy, and you can get the Lion Fang Favor. You have to defeat 10 fiends in order to get this, and it's a repeatable Lion Fang Favor. That's a thing that you get, quest that you get, and then you have some stuff right here. So you've got the Paladin, whatchamacallit's in here, and then you have the Paladin class tokens in here, or the Lion Fang Favor right here. As you can see, you don't need very many Lion Fang favors. So you actually have two options, two ways of obtaining this stuff here. These are the stats of them. And this is what they, well, essentially, just to show you what they look like, it's what this guy is wearing. That's what this armor set is. That's actually really cool. Look at those shoulders. Those are gorgeous. And the armor right here that's the armor which is also very nice the lion fang paladin armor you've got the cape right here very nice cape actually goes really good with this outfit and then you've got the gloves right there very nice paladin belt which is right here with a sword it comes with a sword that's pretty cool and then last but not least the boots and you need the Lion Fang stuff in order to Lion Fang favor in order to get it here. However, down here you have another option. Paladin class tokens. So you can get the exact same thing, except you can get them with Paladin class tokens. So if, like me, you have enough, you would be able to collect the entire set with just the Paladin class tokens. So depending on what option you want to go for. Otherwise, it's a really good set. And yeah, that is what has come with this update. Now, there are some bugs that have occurred, and there is a fix that they did, a small fix for it, but they will be making sure that the fix goes out tomorrow. Depends on when you're watching this. Might be the day that you're watching this, but I will be uploading this before I go to bed. So it's still in the day. I just want to show the comparison between how huge Dej is. Like, oh my gosh. He's insanely massive. It's crazy compared to me. I'm just past his knees. So anyways, yeah, the update had a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of monsters in there. And the only thing I was kind of disappointed about was there didn't really seem to be any item drops. So this might have changed. Maybe there are item drops, but they're just lower item drops, which I'd be fine with as long as we know that there are some kind of drops in there. Otherwise, it kind of makes it the, the bosses. You just kill the bosses and that's it. You move on. It'd be cool if they had loot, then you could farm the loot. But anyways, we'll have to wait and see. So... What did you guys think of the Nogath update? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging. Mm -hmm.